Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie Journals and today we are going to be talking about bullet journaling and also my April plan with me which I'll be filming while we're talking. My um, April theme that I chose for this month is fish themed which with a salmon, a dark blue, and a light blue color and I really loved how it turned out that you'll be watching in the next few minutes. If you don't have time for that make sure to hit, go to the like button and like it before you leave and hit the subscribe button if you liked what you saw. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my Instagram, which I'll link in the description box below. And it's just Katie Journals. Thank you. As you heard in the intro, this month's theme is fish themed with a salmon color, a dark blue and a light blue. I started off by calligraphing the word April with my um, Tombow Fudinuske calligraphy pen. And if you're not the best at calligraphy, I suggest trying just a normal cursive font with more space in between the letters and then going back over it with darker and thicker lines. This always helped me when I started bullet journaling. I started off by drawing some fish in a black outline with my um, Pilot .38 gel pen, but then I realized that the pen might smudge if I colored over it, so then I went right with the blue and the pink markers to draw the fish outlines first and then go back over them with a black marker. Um, this theme was similarly based off Amanda H. Lee's theme, which she did in July of 20, 2019, I believe. And I just added some of my own touches to it, which would be the black outlines, and then also some of the designs and patterns that I put on the fish. I ended up doing a fast motion, but I thought I would include in here a slow motion of me just drawing the fish. So as you can see, I have all of the outlines in the colors, and I'm just going back over them with a black thin marker. And I'm making these, some of these patterns. Um, a few of them that I, that I did was um, some crossover like plaid. I also did a lot of like scalloped type symbols. Um, and yeah, it turned out really nice. I went between um, a few different patterns. So just practice doodling fish before you go into your bullet journal to see what kind of designs you want to try out for your bullet journal. I also went with some of these background lines. As you can see, I have some blue, dark blue wavy lines, dotted lines. And I went with those just to fill some of the empty spaces that I found in between some of my fish. Alright, now we're on to the monthly overview, which I added the title monthly overview on this side. If you happen to watch my April plan with me, you saw almost the same layout where I did the decorative page on the left and I ended up doing my calendar on the right hand page. This is because I found that the huge calendars weren't weren't the best for me and that I didn't need to take up a, f a whole two pages just to do a monthly calendar. So I've opted for this new bullet journal style which I really love which is the decorative page on the left and then the calendar page on the right. In my April setup I did a smaller calendar page but in this month I decided to do um, a larger page that took up this entire page. That means I don't have any room to write down goals um, or any of the, like some of the tasks or events that I wrote down on my last month's bullet journal setup. So I guess we'll have to see how this is going to go. Um, I love that the box size is larger uh, because in my last setup I had problems with the smaller boxes that I couldn't really fit a lot of stuff into. And as you can see I'm adding some of these dots um, down onto the calendar page just to add some color to the actual calendar page. And now we're going to be going on to our habit tracker. Um, I have done habit tracker for two months now and I've been actually really loving it. So I'm drawing the habit tracker now. I'm just doing this simple like box layout and you just color in the circle if you've done it that day. I did about nine habits and I didn't think much about it and I changed some of them after the setup but most of the ones I did was um, vitamins, bible time, going outside which could mean just a walk or going in the backyard and then I did a lot of fish doodles around the outsides.
The next page that I'm adding onto the side of this one is going to be my April highlights. Um, for a while, I did a two lines a day type of spread, but this month I'm going to do an April memories where I can just write down whatever day I want to, something that happened that day. Um, and yeah, so this is just a place where I can write down stuff that happened this month instead of having to do a daily one line when some days I felt like, you know, I needed a longer bit of space to talk about what I wanted to, and some days I didn't have anything to write down. So here's another um, type of spread that you can use in your bullet journal instead of doing the two lines a day tracker cut type of tracker. The next page that we're doing is a brain dump, which I love the most in these setups, just because it's a place for me to dump anything that's in my brain without having to worry about taking up more pages in my bullet journal. Um, I did a little bit of doodling on the sides, but m for most of the part, I kept it blank so I can fill it later in this month. The next two spreads that I made in the setup were very pretty and I love them so much. Um, the next two I'm going to do is the My Ideal Day, which is just going to be kind of a schedule for me, especially that we're in quarantine mode. It's going to be essential for me to keep a healthy routine throughout these months just to think that I'm staying organized. Um, and if you want to see how that goes, make sure to follow my Instagram, which I am going to link in the description box below. And the page after the My Ideal Day is going to be the Bible reading page. And I like using this because I do a devotional out of a magazine. And instead of bringing out the magazine every day, I like to keep in my bullet journal, which is um, really nice. And I can check off things whenever I've done them. I also added Bible reading to my habit tracker just so I can keep track of when, what days I've done it. And if I can keep on top of it. And I added two sections to the bottom and some fish on the sides. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check the description for all the things I talked about in this video, also some of the supplies I used. And make sure to comment down below what your theme is for April.